All right, going to show you examples of how charismatics are modern day Pharisees and scribes. Show you from scripture how Jesus Christ rebukes their faking of the sign gifts and their desire to see signs and not walk by faith. And also how the attributes of the charismatics are that of Pharisees. So let's get right into the scriptures. First of all, Jesus Christ clearly rebuked the Pharisees for constantly desiring a sign or a gift. And he says that the adulterous and sinful generation seeks after a sign. Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 to 40. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew chapter 16, verses 1 to 4. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, and tempting, and tempting desired him, that he would show them a sign from heaven. But he answered and said unto them, When is the evening? Ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul. It will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye can, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. Much like the modern day charismatics, the Pharisees demanded they see signs and wonders. Jesus Christ rebukes them as adulterous and sinful, as part of the adulterous and sinful generation. Next, the modern day charismatics, uh, like the modern day charismatics, the Pharisees shut up the kingdom of heaven and devour widows' houses. The charismatics do this by lying to people who are legitimately in need to get their money. Matthew chapter 13 verse, or Matthew chapter 23 verses 13 to 15. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you compass sea and land, uh, compass sea and land to make one proselyte and when he is made you make him two four more two four more the child of hell than yourselves the modern day charismatics make their followers two four more of the children of hell than themselves by preaching a false gospel of experiences over scripture to them they go by their experiences they don't go by the word of god much like the modern day charismatics the pharisees ignored scriptures for their vain traditions of men matthew chapter 23 verse number 23 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anus and common, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, for ye ought to have done and not leave un sorry, for these ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Matthew chapter fifteen verses one to nine. Then came the Jesus, scribes, and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, why do, thy why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy mother and father, and he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whomsoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, honor and honor not his mother or his father, he shall be free. Thus ye have made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did Elias prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. The modern day charismatic is guilty of all these things. They hold their unscriptural experiences, their uh, unscriptural visions to heaven, their unscriptural trips to hell, their unscriptural visions of New Jerusalem, all this other stuff. They hold their traditions. They don't go by scripture. They go by their traditions. They go by their experiences. They preach the gospel of experiences over scripture. They preach the gifts over the gospel. And they're making people the two or four more of the child of hell than themselves. 
and they're going to people who are legitimately have health issues and conning them out of their money to get to supposedly heal them or get devils out of them when really they're imparting devils into them through their and look look at their their supposed manifesting of the gifts of the spirit it's clearly devil possession read mark chapter 5 mark chapter 7 you see examples of people who are possessed with devils they behave exactly like the modern day charismatics do the charismatic movement is just modern day scribes and pharisees don't be deceived by it may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.